Hey friends, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. Sitting here with my little buddy Macon today. He just really wanted to be in the video. I don't know, he was feeling the camera. But I'm bringing you part two of my amazing estate sale haul. So if you saw my video last week, you know that I went to the most insane estate sale. Like, I'm still in shock that I went to it. Basically, the lady was an anthropology buyer, or at least that's what I think she was. She was an amazing shopper, had great taste, and had an amazing closet slash house full of clothing. So I went a little crazy. Crazy. and you can catch up on part one if you didn't see that video I'll link it up above but I'm gonna go ahead and get into the second part of my haul today there's probably gonna be five or six parts just because I bought so much stuff and if you're curious about what any of the stuff looks like want to shop it I'll link my Poshmark closet down in the description box below but let's go ahead and get into the haul all right starting out the haul with tops and first up I have this orange off the shoulder top and it's a really thick ponty knit so it's got a great structure but it still has stretch to it and the brand on this one is Daletta from Anthropology, and it is new with tag size medium and I actually found the exact same shirt next to it it is just a really pretty blush color but again it's Daletta and it's a size medium so I went ahead and grabbed both of these because I think they'd be really great with some high-waisted jeans the next item is this tunic top it's got a great graphic print on the front it's super long with a v-neck and the brand is tiny from anthropology it's a size medium i actually had this tee in another print in the last haul i didn't even realize it but it's a linen scoop neck tee and this one has a really pretty floral print it's got ruching on the sleeves and it is by meta rue from anthropology it's a size small and it was 58 dollars new with tags this next blouse is beautiful. It has a lot of great detailing going on. So it's floral print. It's got these short flutter sleeves and then it's got a lace um, kind of crochet panel in the front. And the brand is HD in Paris from Anthropology. This one is a size eight and it was also new with tags. This floral print blouse has a lot of detailing as well. It's got these great sequins and bead embellishment on the sleeves. And I also really like how it's kind of gathered at the cuff. It adds like a romantic touch and then it's got the tie neck detail the brand is Raina Gill which is sold at Anthropology. Um, usually her stuff's made in India it's really great quality and this one is new with tags retailed for $128 and it's a size large this next item is a great paisley print peasant blouse so it's kind of that loose flowy fit with these big sleeves and I really like the neutral color combo on it it's by Lil which is from anthropology size medium I don't know if they still carry or make Lil at anthropology but this piece is um, new with tags it was $98 and it's just a great um, staple piece I think for anyone that's into like boho fashion and then this next item, it's similar to a blouse I had in my last haul. It's a mock neck, and it's got a lot of smocking, and it's a really flowy fit, but then again, it's smocked at the sleeves. And then the nice thing about this blouse, it has a ton of embellishment. So it's got beading and sequins all around it, and the brand on this one, this is the tag. It's called blank, so the tag's actually blank, and the brand is blank, but this one is new with tags, so I can show you. Um, blank that's what the regular um, tag looks like and then this was a size medium and I just think that's a great um, piece for the holidays I think that would be really good for a party next top is by Meta Rue from Anthro and it is a size medium and it's new with tags and it's just a really oversized tunic top it looks kind of weird on camera because it's actually um, a sheer mesh fabric so almost like cheesecloth if you think of it like that and it's got this great cutout um, embroidery crochet detailing at the bottom Next is one of my favorite brands for chambray tops, and this one's really cool because it's got this dip dye finish, so it almost looks bleached on the bottom half. Just a popover tunic, and it is by Cloth and Stone, sold sometimes at Anthropology as well as other places, but anytime I see Cloth and Stone chambray in great condition, I always pick it up. They usually sell anywhere from like, I don't know, 35 to 50, depending on the style for pre-owned. This one's used. Next up, another Byron Lars piece. So I mentioned in my last haul that Byron Lars was on like 
my thrifting wish list and I had found one at that sale and I found this little sweater top which I think is a great staple. It's just a really cool twist neck asymmetrical cap sleeve sweater and I think that would go great with any kind of like pencil skirt. Okay, this next sweater is striped with a big floral design on it and I wasn't familiar with this brand. I had never seen it before. It's called Troubadour. It's a size medium but it is new with tags and it had the anthropology tag so I knew it was sold at anthropology and it is $138 retail and it's like a felted wool so instead of it being that like traditional knit it's more felted um, which is really cool. I absolutely love this sweater. It's tie-dye and it's just huge and oversized and it's got these big dolman sleeves that just kind of flare out at the end so it's got that wide dolman sleeve and this is by Moth from Anthropology. It is a size medium and this one was new with tags. Um, I got a lot of sweaters again you're gonna see that so this is another Anthropology sweater. This one is by I believe Sleeping on Snow. Um, yes, it's sleeping on snow. It's a size medium. This one is also new with tags, retailed for $118, but it's just an off-the-shoulder sweater. It's got a little bit of a fair isle design on it, and it's a longer length, which is nice, but you can tell by this texture. It's just super soft and cozy. I love using the word cozy in my um, description for sweaters. Okay, this next sweater is very unique. It has a really cool just multicolored textured design. It's got these baubles on it. It has fringe and it is by the brand which I have never heard of before, Hand Knit by Dolly. I've never seen that before but I knew this was anthropology um, because of the tag obviously and I remember when I was looking up anthropology sweaters um, doing research I saw this one a lot so I picked that one up. Okay, another anthropology super oversized sweater. It kind of has a high low hem at the bottom. It's got these cuffs and then it also has a turtleneck and this one is by Moth. So it is Moth from Anthropology. This one is a size medium and it's also new with tags, just a really great staple. Okay, I think I mentioned in my last haul that I love cream color sweaters. They do really, really well for me. So this is a great nubby textured knit and it's a V-neck. It is by Moth from Anthropology again and it is a size large. And what's really cool about this one is it has this zipper detail on the side which you can actually unzip. So I think that would be really cool layered over something as well. Okay, the next item is a poncho and it's just an oversized throw over poncho sweater. It's got kind of open sides but it does have a button on each side a wooden button and when I looked at this one um, it was really unique because it's moth from anthropology but then I was reading the fabric tag and it says it was made in Italy and it's just really amazing quality so I thought that was a great pickup so this piece is new without tags and I can tell because it has the little button in here still attached and you can just tell it's never been washed or worn. It's just in new condition. This next piece, when I found it, I had no idea what it was because it was folded up all weird. I thought it was a scarf, but it's actually this really cool sweater vest and I've sold it before in a different color combination. I think this color is more rare, but it's got all this fringe and pom-pom trim and the brand again is Moth. So see a theme here. I found a ton of Moth sweaters. This one's an extra small, small, but really could fit a variety of sizes because it's just open. Okay, the next sweater, I don't typically sell this brand. I don't find it a lot and I haven't found it to sell super well for me, but I really like the graphic chevron zigzag print on this. It's a super long cardigan sweater, um, almost sleeveless, kind of like a cap sleeve, and it is by Alice and Olivia. So Alice and Olivia is a very high in line, but just for some reason it doesn't always sell for me. But this is a size large and and it's also new with tags and it retailed for like 300 and something dollars so I decided to pick it up and try it again but I think that would be a great layering piece um, over a long sleeve or like a turtleneck and then this next item I kind of wanted to keep this for myself but I decided not to a super oversized cardigan sweater it's v-neck and it's got almost kimono sleeves they're pretty open on the side patchwork knit and it is by moth and it's a size small slash medium and it is new with tags you can tell um, just on the back too it's got that patchwork again and it's just a great neutral 
The next item is a kimono. I love kimonos because I just think they're the perfect throw on layer and they really complete an outfit. And this one's more of a structured lace. So you can see it's got like the floral lace with the scalloped edges, but it is more structured, almost like a jacket. And then it's got this floral trim around the collar and the brand on this one is Flory and that is the newer Flory tag from Anthropology. It's a one size and it was new at tags, retailed for $188. And then this brand I pick up sometimes. This one I picked up because it's new with tags. It is a floral print kimono and it reminds me of a free people kimono that's pretty popular. Um, this one's flying tomato. It's a size small medium, again, new with tags and just a really great boho layering piece. Okay, this cardigan is cropped and it's ribbed. It kind of reminds me of like a ballet dancer sweater. It's cream and it is by Saturday Sunday from Anthropology. It is a large petite, new with tags. And uh, Saturday Sunday is like more of a lounge line from Anthro, but you could definitely layer this over anything and it just kind of pulls through a little wrap style right there, which is a unique detail. Okay, this cardigan I really liked because it's got this great asymmetrical detail down here at the hem, so it buttons but then it kind of goes off to the side and it's got like ruffled layers, just really romantic, very lightweight. And it is by Meta Rue from Anthro. It's a size medium and it's new with tags, retailed for 88. Next sweater is a cable knit or cable knit textured cardigan and it's open front, but it has this attached belt detail. So it's a striped knit belt and then it's got these geometric circles on the side. And this one is by Moth from Anthro again. It's a size medium. Okay, this one I also thought about keeping this one because I absolutely love it, but I have a lot of sweaters like this. So I told myself I didn't need it, but it is a really oversized knit cardigan sweater and it is by Zara Knit. So D Zara Knit, size small. They make really great quality knitwear. And this is new with tags, kind of. This isn't really like the retail tag, but you can tell it's never been worn. And I really like that it has this hood on it. Okay, another kimono. And this one's quilted. So I think this one um, is a little bit warmer maybe than some other kimonos, but it's got a great floral watercolor print. And then it has some really um, fun embellished trim. And again, it's that blank brand that I showed earlier. So blank tag from um, anthropology and this one was new at tags retailed for 168 on to dresses and this dress I actually saw the first day of the estate sale I didn't pick it up and then it was still there the second day so I definitely grabbed it because it's just so unique it's a sleeveless shift dress and it's just got this color block like fuzzy fringe texture on it so the brand on this one is nocturne it's a US size 8 and it's new with tags. I looked this one up and I think it retailed for somewhere around $400 or $500. So I think that was a really good find. Um, the back of it's color blocked as well. And then this next piece, I've never found a dress by this brand and I've always wanted to. Um, typically their sheath or shift dresses do a little bit better, but this is a draped jersey dress. It's kind of Grecian looking and the brand is Black Halo. So Black Halo makes really high quality dresses. And this one was new with tags. It did retail for $325. This one also has a really cool back with like these draped um, I don't know what to call them, like wing details, but yeah, I was excited to find something by this brand, a shift by them, or a sheath is still on my list. I think the Jackie dress is like what they're known for. Okay, I love this next dress. It's definitely something that I would wear. It is a silk midi dress, and it's kind of cargo style or utility style with these pockets on it. It laces up the front, and then it also has this twist detailing. So it has a lot going on, but it's kind of simple still with the navy blue color. And it is by Leaf's Daughter from Anthropology. It's a size 10. It is new with tags. And then what's cool is it also has smocking on the back. So that helps with the fit and adds a little bit more like comfort. It's got a zipper right there. Another Byron Lars piece. This one is Beguile by Byron Lars. It's size 6. Um, I did look this one up and it was sold at Anthropology. It's a great prairie style lace dress. It's got a lot of cutout detailing here and you can wear it all the way buttoned up for like a more modest look. You could unbutton it. It's got smocking here and then just a really full skirt and I just think this is a beautiful piece. I'm still in shock that I found I think three, two or th no, three Byron Lars pieces at this sale. Next up is a jumpsuit. It's sleeveless and it's just got like straight leg pants. It has pockets and it is silk and I really like the floral print on this. I think it's really timeless and the brand on this one 
is Harlan. It's an eight petite from Anthropology New Attacks. If you're a Burberry fan, you might recognize the check print. This is just a little kind of bubble hem mini skirt. So it's got the little fold under bubble and then it has leather trimmed pockets and elastic waist. And this one is new at tags. I believe it's a size eight. So yeah, it's a US size eight, $275 retail. Next skirt is this gorgeous floral print. It's more of an A-line fit. It's not straight like a pencil skirt. And it is from Anthropology. It is by Moulinette Soares and it is a size 10. It's new with tags. Um, this one retailed for $328, so quite a bit for a skirt, but it was made out of some specialty Italian fabric, so that makes it a little bit more sought after. And then grabbed a sweater skirt. I know I talked about before I didn't love skirts or I don't love selling skirts, but anthropology skirts do really well for me. So sweater knit, it's got fringe trim, it's kind of patchwork design. So the brand on this one is Sleeping on Snow. It's a medium petite and it is new with tags, retailed for 128. Okay, this one is a pencil skirt and it's got this really cool um, shiny camouflage print on it. It's got a knitted waistband. Um, it's new with tags and the brand on this one is Maeve from Anthro. I believe it's a size eight and it has an exposed back zip. A couple coats, this one, I absolutely love the textured knit on this. It's just really nice, high quality. It's got a contrasting lining and you know fold over collar. It is by Antique Batik, which I believe is a French brand. It's a size 36, 38, which it's pretty oversized. I'm gonna try it on and measure it. Um, it's called the Amy Coat, and I believe this one was sold at Anthropology. I just think that is such a cool, oversized, cozy, chunky coat. I don't know, I love that piece. Okay, this is a more traditional style coat. It is more of that felted wool, so it's pretty smooth. And then it's got some really cool buttons. It's got this, um, I don't know exactly what this print is called. Uh, maybe jacquard or paisley brocade i don't know i'm gonna have to look that up if you know this print let me know down in the comments below but the brand on this one is plenty by tracy reese and it is a size medium new with tags from anthro and it was 258 retail onto jeans which is always one of my favorites this is a printed pair and they're leopard print which leopard print is huge this season so while i don't always grab printed jeans i definitely wanted to pick up the leopard and the brand on this pair is current elliott and they are a size 31. Next pair is a boyfriend style jean. It's got some distressing and then also these really cool patches all over. So they're like suede, flannel, um, plaid, all kinds of stuff. And then they roll at the hem with some detailing down there as well. So just really great quality. And the brand on these is Pilcro and they are a size 28 and they are new with tags. Okay, the next pair of jeans is also Pilcro from Anthro and they are a size 29. These are a high rise jean, but they are cropped and they have the raw edge hem, so they're super frayed. Also, they have this other denim panel added in, so they're kind of like a cropped flare, which is really big right now. And then these are new with tags as well. Another pair of patchwork boyfriend jeans from Anthropology. I think she had like every pair that Pilcro made, so I grabbed a few of them and these are pilcro and they are a size 29 these have more like blue bandana looking patchwork they're rolled at the hem next pair of jeans are these dark blue skinny jeans and they are that coated wax denim so they almost look like faux leather um, it's hard to show on camera but they are by Vince which I have never sold Vince jeans before I believe these are a size 30 or 31 so we'll see how those do but I did really like the coated um, texture to them and then this is the same kind of thing. So these are by Citizens of Humanity and these are the Rocket High Rise. So the Rocket High Rise is a more current style and they do pretty well. And these are like a burgundy wine color. They look like faux leather jeans and it's just the high rise. Like I said, I think that'll do well. So these are new with tags and they are a size 29. The last clothing item I have are these knit joggers. So they're a sweater knit and they have these little pom poms or bobbles. So thank you to whoever commented on my last video and told me these are called bobbles. And they have the little gathered cuff at the bottom since they are joggers and they're just really cozy lounge pants. So these are by Eloise from Anthropology. They are a size medium and they are new with tags. These would actually make a great um, present for the holidays. I just think who wouldn't love to relax in these cozy joggers. 
Okay, on to shoes and accessories, and I'm going to start with this first pair of shoes, which are these menswear inspired Oxfords. They have the wingtip front, they're color block suede. I really like the color combination on these. They're very fall, and then they have this wooden stacked heel, and I had never heard of this brand before, but I looked it up. This pair was sold at Anthropology. It is TNF Slack Shoemakers London. They're made in England. They're super nice quality, and these are a size 40, and they're brand new, never been worn. The next pair of boots are these brown leather. They have the burnished toe detailing and they're just a cute little ankle booty with again that stacked wood heel and then it has this bronze strap detail. They zip inside. So the brand is Everybody by BZ Moda. I've sold this brand before. They make really unique shoes. I'm not sure if it's a comfort shoe line but they are um, kind of more comfort style but trendy and these are a size 40. I love this next pair of booties. They are blue suede and they have great floral embroidery. They have the covered heel with the embroidery as well and then the inner zip closure. And this pair is by Billy Ella, which they sell at Anthropology. And these are, I believe, a size 10. Yeah, size 10. This next pair definitely caught my eye. They are a bright yellow, black and white striped pump, and then they have this block heel that is checkerboard covered. Um, just a really cool graphic design, and these are by Chi Mihara, and they are sold at Anthropology as well as at other places. Definitely a higher end line. I think I had a pair in my last haul. So these are a size 40, made in Spain, and 40 um, kind of ranges depending on the shoe. Sometimes they're like a nine, nine and a half, ten. Um, so usually I just look up the brand and see you know what their size chart looks like before I list those over on Poshmark. Next up we have these really cute Mary Jane style flats and they have like a distressed crackled looking leather with a floral print. It's really pretty and then the straps actually just hook on and they have like a little bow detail there and they are by Miss Albright. <laughs> we have a little visitor. This is Pepper. Hi Pepper. So it's kind of hard to see in there, but the brand is Mrs. Albright from Anthropology, and these are basically like new. They have a cushioned insole, and I believe these are either a nine and a half or a ten. Looks like nine and a half. Okay, the final pair of shoes in this haul are these pointed toe lace-up, kind of Oxford style flat. They have a tiny little heel, and these are by Feral Robin. These are from Anthropology. I really like. The metallic floral I think these are great for the holiday season just with some skinny jeans or you know skinny black pants and a sweater so those I think will do well the size on this pair is a 10 and as you can see they are brand new never worn so I grabbed quite a few hats at the sale and I showed some of my last haul. I grabbed a few for this one and the first hat is this black boater hat. So it has the wide flat brim and I really like it has um, floral beaded and embellished and embroidered brim. So it's got a lot of detailing going on. Perfect for the fall. It's really high quality and the tag in there when you look up close it says it's from Anthropology. Well it says Urban Outfitters but that's a division of Anthropology. So when I look online I saw it was sold at Anthro and then the next hat is just another black hat this one's a little bit more like floppy fedora style um, I do need to lint roll it you can tell a little bit but it has a leather trim tie around it and this is new at tags new at tags this one is Brooks Boswell which I had never heard of that brand before it's a size medium but it is from anthropology I looked it up and these hats retail for a couple hundred dollars so I think that was a really good find just a classic style and then the final hat I have is this fedora which I love the color on this it's almost like a taupe color and then it's got this gray Great sequin embellished brim and it's more fedora style and then this one is also new with tags and it is by Eugenia Kim from Anthropology. and you guys this hat retailed for $318 so I will definitely check that out and see you know what other ones are listed and how much I should be listing it for but some great fall style hats the final thing in this haul are some hair accessories. She had a ton of headbands, and so these are just some of the ones I picked up. The first one is this gold, kind of wavy style metal headband, and it has freshwater pearls on it. So it does say these are real freshwater pearls, has some dangly charms, and it's new with tags. It retailed for $48. 
And then this is a classic anthropology style headband. It is just one of those stretchy ones with the elastic back. And then it's got rhinestone embellishments. And again, this one is new with tags as well. And then these two headbands are similar. So it's more of that turban style headband with the knot in the front. And then it has all this gorgeous um, embellishment with sequins and seed beads. I think this is perfect for the holidays. And this one is new with tags. So that is the brand on this one as well as this one which is very similar it's again that turban style with the knot in the front and then this one has like dragonfly and kind of insect inspired beading and then also it has this cool tie in the back so you put it on like a regular headband and then you can tie it um, behind your head if you would like and it is also new with tags that's it for part two of my estate sale haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my finds. I think my favorite item in this haul, it's a toss up between two. It's either the um, antique boutique sweater coat, the like really oversized chunky knit cardigan, just a high quality piece. And then I also really love that black boater hat with the beaded floral uh, brim. I just think that was so unique and adds a great touch to any outfit. But let me know your favorite item down in the comment section below. I'm always really curious to see what pieces stand out to other people, but please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.